Yo, Mr. Wallace, I have another question, teacher, about this multi-step equation problem. Can you help me? Yeah, it was from the quizzes assignment. Really? Why do you have to be like that? Okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, this was a question. I'm just gonna do that for you guys. This was a question on the quizzes homework assignment that you guys had. Um, a couple of you guys were asking about what the heck do I do right here? All right, so I'm gonna work this out for you guys uh, just as an, an extra kind of ex example or help, and maybe you guys recognize this from the quizzes assignment already. All right, so multi-step equations, the first thing we gotta do is get rid of all the parentheses, all right, by the distributive property. So I'm gonna start over here because that looks kind of easy because I know I have my negative three, distribute that to the eight M and then to the one. So here we go, I'm gonna simplify that. Negative three times eight M, well, negative and positive, that's negative 24 M, okay? The negative three times positive one is just negative three. These are not like terms, obviously, because there's no variable over there, so I'm done on the right side, okay? This is what throws a lot of people. That minus sign right there, that is technically a negative one, all right? So we're gonna distribute that negative sign right there. We're gonna distribute that negative one to everything in that first parenthesis, all right? That negative 3m, that's a term right there that's all by itself. There's really nothing going on right there at all. So I'm going to drop that down. So negative 3m, if it helps, you know, just, just Pretend like there's a, a, a one right there. If there's a minus sign in front of a parentheses, that always means that we're just gonna distribute a negative, distribute the negative one. So here we go. Boom, boom, just like that. So negative one times three is negative three. All right, um, you know what, I realized, I hope I just didn't mess it up. Like tilt the actual camera, Never mind. All right, so negative one times three is negative three. And then negative one times six M is negative six M, all right? Oh, look, we have like terms on the left side right there. So negative three minus six is negative nine. So I'm gonna combine those. So that's negative nine M. That negative three right there didn't change. Equals, okay, now I have my negative 24 M from before minus three. So I'm gonna set that back a little bit right there. So now, the goal is to get all the numbers on one side and all the variables on the other. I personally like dealing with positive variables, so I'm gonna add the 24M to get rid of it and then move it over to the other side. So that's canceled on that side. So I have a negative, uh, I'm sorry, a positive 24M because I added it to get rid of it. So negative nine plus 24, uh, it's the same thing as 24 minus nine, which is 15. So 15M. All right, now that I got my variables, I chose to get my variables on the left, I'm gonna get my numbers over on the right. So I'm gonna add three right there, okay? That cancels out. This is also probably something that kind of threw you guys. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna drop down my equal sign right there. I'm gonna add three right there, because what I do to one side, I do to the other. Oh, crap, negative three plus three, that's zero. 15M equals zero. Don't worry, there is a solution. What is the only thing that we multiply by to get zero? Well, it's zero. And algebraically, if we're gonna do this, well, we're gonna divide by 15 both sides to get rid of it, divide by 15 on both sides. Um, well, zero divided by anything is always just zero. So M equals zero. There's our solution. All right, a lot of times you won't get zero, but I think the big question was that minus sign at the very beginning. You just distribute that to that parenthesis right there. Okay, thank you guys. I'm gonna back up a little bit.